Hi. So I have no concept of time anymore, but uh, around a month or two ago, I posted a video on Twitter um, of me seemingly walking towards a very deep hole inside the house that I live in right now. Um, I had been kind of building up this whole narrative on my streams uh, because there's been construction in the house, so the floors are being repaired. I wasn't sure. Well, <laughs> we might just hear. Well, you might just hear some dunk, dunk, dunk in the background. Hey, flash. It'd be fine. Oh, that's fine. Uh, yeah. no, I don't like that. Know. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> so I started to make this uh, fake story about the floor being uh, taken away completely. Um, so I was building this whole thing up, and I was going to drop that video and hopefully confuse a lot of you. And the responses were interesting. <laughs> Okay, so to recap, construction in the house. I make this fake story about the house being torn apart, and then I use CG to fool some of you, hopefully. Um, and it didn't work out the way I was hoping for. So there was a lot of steps to this thing. This is gonna be another fucking explanation video, because uh, I have no other idea. <laughs> Let's just go through what I had to do to make this video possible. So first of all, I the floor was ripped up, so I took a video, a, a nice clean plate of the floor. I had to take a marker and draw on the floor to make sure that the tracking was like you know good. I'll lay out my my steps real quick. Track the floor, mask out the door, and then insert the 3D tracking. So you know, seems simple. Three steps, easy, right? Wrong. Let's start with the first step: tracking the floor. So I, I this is cool software called. What the fuck? There's this cool software called Blender. If you haven't heard of it, it's a 3D software that's becoming more and more used in the um, the indus industry now. It's uh, become an industry standard while still being free. So I opened Blender, deleted that fucking cube, and then I got started on my adventure. So I have no idea how to do 3D tracking, so I looked at one tutorial to teach me how to do it. And I'm a one tutorial type of guy, you know, when I built my my computer, I looked at Linus's tutorial and then that was it. That was it for me. And it went well. It went well, I'd say. So this shit is 900 fucking dollars. This bad boy. So first of all, it was to, I needed a lot of tracking points and a lot of the ones I wrote down, I well, wrote down, I, I wrote, write, wrote it on the floor, um, were not usable, unfortunately, because uh, I suck and I can't plan well. I had to use less than required tracking points, which gave a not bad tracking, but it could have been better, you know, I had, a, I think, a solve of like 0 0.6 or some shit like that. And the recommended is under 0 0.5 or 0 0.05. I don't fucking know, dude. And then after that, you make sure that your camera is set to like the floor or some shit, right? Well, I don't know why I'm making this video. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Um, and for this context, I used this, the render like called Eevee and it made the lighting really nice. It looked really realistic. I tried to match the lighting coming from the door on the floor, give it like a yellow tint to give it that like sunlight thing. So in the end, the, the tracking wasn't really perfect. There was like, it, it would wiggle a little, like uh, every once in a while, but there's nothing that Twitter compression can't hide really. So after rendering this, brought into After Effects. After Effects, good software, very expensive, whoops. Bring that bitch in there, bring the footage, and then now it was the, the time of my life really. So I had to go for this six second video how long is six seconds by what is it like 25 Let, let's just make a quick estimate okay so 150 frames is how many frames I had to go through manually and adjust this fucking mask by fucking hand so we couldn't see the um, the floor and even if you look now uh, on the video it's like you can tell you know that the edges kind of wiggle throughout the video you know but that's fine I wasn't meant to put nine hours in there. This isn't for a movie, this is for fucking Twitter to, to, to make my my viewers and followers uh, freak out. So now it was time for the big moment, the upload of the video. I was so excited, so, so excited. So I sit here on my phone looking at it, and then the replies are just fucking weird, man. So so it's a mix of people that are that either probably don't believe it, um, that know, oh shit, that know it's fake, or that they believe it, but just aren't that impressed by the sheer, like, depth of this hole. Like, uh, let, let's just go through some comments here. And someone said, but didn't you play Mirror's Edge the other week? You're telling me you weren't training for this moment? You know, a big funny meme, you know, like, haha. <laughs> so I'm assuming he doesn't believe it. That's okay. Someone, Morgan's Wolf, what the feck? Is that a game? And then I just say, 
they remove the floor in the house. I can't go to the bathroom. You know, I keep to my story. I need to stay on track of my story. It looks endless. What the fuck? Nice. So now it's my turn to like add to the story. Like how deep does a house go? Apparently the bedrock Minecraft joke. I can imagine myself falling to my death and I do not like that at all. Lol. Lindsay, do you believe it? Like I, like what? I'm so mad. Why are we, I'm so confused here. Old ship or else you could fall. Minecraft. Can you see bedrock from there? Minecraft. Pretty sure it's fake. You can see some stuttering on the floor and trim. Maybe I'm wrong though. He's completely right. Congrats, Alvin. I was putting like random little holes. That looks terrifying, you know, so he, he believes it. But I just feel like there's not as much reaction from people that do believe it. Like it's so smooth and so deep and dark. And it's just like, oh shit. How deep is that? Be careful, who knows what happens if you slip down there. I die. You can always use the hole as a toilet. So yeah, overall, a little disappointed with my experiment. Um, it was a very cool experience to learn Blender a little. Um, I think uh, it's something that I really want to get into maybe, you know, just uh, doing some VFX like that. Thank you for watching this really boring video. Uh, I have no idea for videos recently. And I hope you guys still found entertainment in this. Again, just uh, shout out to my Twitch, which is where I do my streams. Here's a funny clip. That's right, bitch. So thank you very much for watching. Um, hopefully I can do something like this again. I would like to do some crazy 3D stuff eventually. Um, slap the button, which, uh, one of the buttons, one of, one of these, right? Um, and uh, I'll see you guys next video in like six months. Bye-bye. <laughs>